Welcome back to this channel for Practice Problems for Actuarial Exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smartdrl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smartdrl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smartdrl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam P on probability. New dental and medical plan options will be offered to state employees next year. An actuary uses the following density function to model the joint distribution of the proportion X of state employees who will choose dental option 1 and the proportion Y who will choose medical option 1 under the new plan options. F sub X Y of X Y equals 0.50 for x between 0 and 0.5 and y between 0 and 0.5, 1.25 for x between 0 and 0.5 and y between 0.5 and 1, 1 1.50 for x between 0.5 and 1 and y between 0 and 0.5, and 0.75 for x between 0.5 and 1 and y between 0.5 and 1. Calculate the variance of y given that x is equal to 0.75. And here's the solution. We have um, the marginal density of y, of y um, given that x is 0.75, equal to the joint uh, f sub xy of 0.75y divided by the marginal um, f sub x um, um, of x for x equal to 0.75, which is the integral from 0 to 1 of all values of the joint density um, corresponding to x equal to 0.75. And that's equal to f sub y, x, y um, of 0.75 and y um, divided by 1 half times 1.50 plus 1 half times 0.75. And then that's equal to um, f sub x y of 0.75 y over 1.125. And that's equal to 1.50 for uh, over 1.125 for y between 0 and 1 half and 0.75 over 1.125 for y between 1 half and 1. So this uh, conditional density is equal to 4 thirds when y is between 0 and 1 half and 2 thirds when y is between 1 half and 1. Of course the entire range of possible values of uh, y is between 0 and 1. Therefore, the expected value of y is the integral from 0 to 1 half of y times 4 thirds dy uh, plus the integral from 1 half to 1 of y times 2 thirds dy. And uh, that's equal to 4 thirds times 1 half y squared evaluated from 0 to 1 half plus two-thirds times one-half y squared evaluated from one-half to one. And that's four-thirds times one-eighth minus zero, plus two-thirds times one-half minus one-eighth, so one-sixth plus one-fourth, which is five-twelfths. That's the expected value of y. The second moment of y, the expected value of y squared, is the integral from zero to one-half of y squared times four-thirds dy, plus the integral from one-half to one of y squared times two-thirds dy. So that's four-thirds times one-third y cubed evaluated from zero to one-half plus two-thirds times one-third y cubed evaluated from y equal to one-half to one. And that's four-thirds times one over twenty-four minus zero plus two-thirds times one-third minus one over twenty-four and that's equal to one-eighteenth plus seven-thirty-six which is two-eighteenths, uh, two-thirty-six plus seven 
36, so 9 over 36, and that's equal to 1 fourth. And the variance of y is the second moment minus the square of the first moment, so it's a quarter minus 5 twelfth squared, or a quarter minus 25 over 144, or 36 over 144 minus 25 over 144, and that's 11 over 144, or approximately 0 0.0764, which is answer C. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to a society of actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.